dreams, a shared experience seemingly almost mystical in nature. When experiencing something so potentially strange, the question occurs, what in fact are dreams? Ugh. Like everything we hold true, what purpose do dreams serve in our real lives? There have been theories about dreams since recorded history. So let's delve in, not only as scientists, but as the dreamers that dream the dreams. A good place to start is with the father of psychoanalysis, Sigmund Freud. Freud's theories, although somewhat controversial today, left a legacy of self-reflective work, which is still studied as a basis for modern psychology today. Freud was fascinated by dreams and even published a book called Die Troidatum, The Interpretation of Dreams, in 1899. Freud felt the dreaming itself was an internal editing mechanism that takes all our loose and filtered thoughts and sculpts them into a story. These dreams use symbols, which, if interpreted correctly, Freud felt could give us insight into our unconscious selves. By understanding our unconscious selves, this could help us not only conquer our fears, but aid in achieving our wants. Yet Freud also believed that a night of no dreams were best, leaving the mind in total emptiness from meditation and rest. Today we know that this doesn't hold true due to the simple fact that there's never a night without dreaming. Moving forward in time, there are many more commonly accepted theories based in more definitive science. One popular theory is that dreaming acts as almost a virtual simulation for dangerous situations. These simulations, even if not remembered, unknowingly help us. What we look for isn't necessarily combating the problem within the dream, which can be a bit fantastical in nature, but tapping in to the raw emotional response. This response can be applicable to a cornucopia of real-world problems. Although not immediately apparent, fighting a man-eating dragon in the dream world can help deal with the stress of tax season. Studies have shown just how closely dreams and reality is linked. Dreams have been proven to affect people's moods in the morning, and real-world pain has shown to show up in a person's dreams. These two worlds are separate, yet seemingly dependent on each other. We know more now than we've ever known before, yet there will always be an aspect of dreaming that stays in a world of pure imagination.